Well, I do a lot of things in Celeste in threes, it seems like. I have had like three episodes named after Third Time's the Charm. And this is the third time I've had to record this episode because my roommate keeps walking in at the most opportune times. But hey, that's fine because that just means that I will die even less than normal. Probably. Or you'll have to watch even less than normal. Oh god. Ho 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 ho! Alright. Frick. Okay, hold up. There we go. Uh, so the first part here is honestly like really prone to me not dying anyways, but um, here starts to be the part where I forgot what I was doing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Wasn't that bad. There we go. And here's the really fun part. Let me just show you what it is first. So, basically what it's come to. Um, this pushes me up, I dash, then fall down there, jumps off the spring, dash up, and fall through there. Uh, dash against the spring here, get as close to this freaking wall as possible, which you're going to see is so fun for me to do. Um, fall through this hole, dash against that spring, bounce, diagonal and up, dash there, fall through here, dash to the side and up into that spring, do some diagonals there, fall through here, dash sideways twice, don't jump off this cloud, dash upwards twice into that spring, um, I'll jump there, and then I'm not so sure after that, but you can just see how fun this is going to get. Um, and then of course, the crystal heart isn't actually in view, so that wall looks like it's going to break as soon as I touch it. And then something interesting and unexpected will happen, probably. But, you know, before that, another interesting and unexpected thing, like me going through this really quickly and easily, seeming. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that almost worked. <laughs> I, uh, um, here's where me doing this all wrong starts. Actually, never mind. See, the thing is, is that I, I was getting really upset the first two times I recorded this because of that one wall that I talked about in my little explanation. And, well, it's been a, it's been a day. I've got my freshness in. I'm not upset anymore, so yeah. I'm actually, you know, this is kind of the series where I've gotten to playing around long enough that I'm comfortable talking about things for no reason. Um, I'm, le I'm less unhappy now in a lot of ways because I finally, um, god, I don't know if I actually want to talk about this on my channel. I don't like getting into like life stuff because for one, I get myself into a lot of complicated situations that are just kind of wacky more than anything. I probably could have just diagonaled there. Um, and I feel like I really, um, God, I get myself into relatively unique scenarios, sort of. Like, um, God. You, you know the freaking term high school sweetheart. I had a fucking middle school sweetheart, basically. I'm in college now, and... Um... Unfortunately... Since I'm... Have I talked about me doing military stuff? I like the idea of what the military can do for me, in terms of, like, making me learn things. I like learning things. Right? Okay, I thought that was going to be more possible than it is, but I think I will actually have to go up there. So, just in just in terms of the kind of job the military can make me do, it's somewhat alluring. Especially as, like, a developmental engineer. That's, that's the way it looks like it's going to go right now. In term Unfortunately, my um, now ex-girlfriend wants to settle down for high school. And if you know anything about military lifestyle, that's not something I can... So, uh, uh, but I, I don't really have people to talk to about that either. <laughs> and it's not like we're on bad terms. 
So I'm kind of in this wacky situation where I can talk to her about anything. But kind of the only things I want to talk to her about are her. And that doesn't work out very well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird situation I put myself into because like, as far as the my freaking fellas at work, I tell them, yeah, I'm, I'm still in love with my ex, and they just give me a look like, oh, you're kind of pathetic, you know? Um, but it's, I don't know. I guess that's just kind of how it goes, where the typical response is that, um, or the typical thought process is that one party is not as involved as the other, maybe. But, I mean, I even talked to her today, and we're kind of going through the same thing here. Sucks a bit, but, you know, I'm not one to say that, uh, I don't know. I try to think about things in a more logical manner. I still get upset, but I don't want... I mean, the whole reason we're even not going out right now is because, like, not only are we apart physically anyways, because we go to different colleges. But, um, like, there, there, if it's not going to work out later, and it's reasonable to believe that it's not going to work out later, there's not too much point in spending years when you meet new people at college as a couple, because then we're kind of missing out on maybe meeting someone else. I, for one, have spent a year here. I ain't met no one else. <laughs> but, and I'm, I'm pretty dang sure it's the same for her, because she, it, it's the kind of thing she would have told me about. Um, or I would hope, honestly, I hope she, that if she does find someone, she's as brutally honest about it as possible. I want to be destroyed, really. As it stands, I can't be yet. I still cling to hope, and that's where the pain comes, because I don't even know if actually the whole military thing is going to pan out. So there's part of me that thinks, like, well, if I find somewhere else, some other way to pay for all of this, then maybe we get back together. But I don't, I don't know if that even that is, is, like, a tenable idea at this point, you know? I'm closer to this jump here. I think, I think going under really is what they want us to do. And I'm still surprised at how well I'm handling that wall. And the surprise just makes me screw up later. <laughs> but, well, that's my relationship situation. If I ever get any crazy fans, I don't mind. No. <laughs> I do entirely mind. I found that, well, I guess I've already kind of talked about. Have I? I don't know that I have. I feel like the kind of girl that... I find that college is not actually the kind of girl that I want to be with. I don't know what I mean by that. Um, did I already talk about this? So I'm kind of traditional. and uh, But I'm also, like, my mom worked. And I like my mom. So I don't... Jeez, this is going to be so fun. <laughs> Me ruining my career and also my life while I play Celeste. <laughs> but anyways, I was raised by a working mother, and I love my mom, and I'm she's really good at what she does. Um, I, I I would consider my mom to be something of a genius, though. Um, I don't know. You you maybe heard me talk about geniuses, though, so maybe that doesn't mean much to the common the common man. Um, I don't know, the common observer, someone that doesn't really know us in our lives. Family of uber smart individuals. My sister graduated with a 4.0 GPA in a medical profession. But, anyways, that's. Uh, this is kind of all the evidence I can give in terms of. There's, there's something going on, anyway. But, um. It's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm, there's part of me that, uh, 
wants to like support someone, but I also don't want to be the kind of person that says that like, oh, women can't or shouldn't work because, well, I was raised by a perfect contrary example. So it's it's not even really that I'm torn there so much as like I I <laughs> I want to find like the most niche person possible that like could work but maybe doesn't want to or it is willing to not I don't know and even that it's like I don't, I don't know if I really need someone that'd be stuck in a house all day I'd be content with that I don't know again this is all stuff that's gonna happen way later if at all I'm a weird fella who knows if I'm gonna find someone um, <laughs> But it, it's 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 wacky to think about because I also it's like it's probably just the selfishness in me that wants to monopolize someone and just for them to be there when I'm home, you know. But hell, if we just have similar working hours, yeah, I don't know. It's like, my parents are divorced, so <laughs> maybe that says something about the way that my mom's job maybe played a role um, in their relationship, but I, I was never under the impression that my mom's having a job was what caused them to get divorced, so that's not really a thing either. Let's see if I can't... Um, Turn the brain back on so that I can actually get a bit further. But yeah, basically, I'm finding two types of women in college. I think what I'm looking for is this weird combination of the two that I don't think I would find at college. Like, just the, the nature of what I'm looking for in a woman makes the idea of college um, undesirable to such a person, I would think. In just that, like, I want someone that can take something seriously. I find a lot of people that don't take college seriously, which honestly disgusts me a little bit because I pay for it myself, so I know how much money goes into this. Um, but I also don't want someone that this is everything, you know? Or could maybe... I don't... I don't know how to say this, really. Because, I mean, you could make that... You could make that statement about anything. And any section in life really isn't everything. You're gonna end up on your deathbed and be like, Oh, well, you know... You could make a big deal about dying, but it's not really everything. <laughs> you know? It's... it. There's a, there's a point to which that doesn't really stand. Um... I get it if you're figuring yourself out still. Everybody's hardly developed the quality of it. And what the mind doesn't fully develop until around 26. And even that depends on. Uh, doesn't it? I don't know. I get so much sex, so my mind must be fully developed. <laughs> Absolutely the opposite. <laughs> but ah, that that's kind of where I am. Um, I don't. I don't want someone who would waste a bunch of money. But I, it's great. My hallway, dear God. Like I don't. I don't want someone that would come to college to to screw around. But people that didn't come to college to screw around are, for one, sure as heck not here to meet guys. I'm not here to meet women, which is probably why I haven't found any Google replacements, you know. Um, oh, come on. But, I mean, there are, there are tons of reasons I don't meet people at college. <laughs> I think I've talked before, I've probably talked before on every single game I've played um, about how I feel like I'm surrounded by people that are vastly incompetent at being alive sometimes. And 
like all it takes is one or two extreme examples for that for that feeling to creep in. I want to say someone was telling me that one of the people they know has a roommate with a cat, and they'd never clean the litter box. Instead, when one litter box is full, they buy a new one and set it next to the old one. And I guess just don't get rid of the old one? I don't know what's going on with people in college, man. But, I mean, since it's something that is expected of everyone now, I guess you should expect all types. I don't know. Again, I, I feel sometimes like I'm a man of a generation past. A couple generations past. Wouldn't say I'm any, like, more conservative than my parents. Probably less. Well, I don't know, honestly. Maybe more than my mom. Um, and I don't know about my dad, honestly. I think about some of the things, like, socially, and I'm not as... Well, hell, I don't even know if I would say that. I don't know. I'm not going to out myself or my parents online in terms of, like, political persuasion. Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I, I figure everybody's parents has things that they disagree with. I, for the most part, agree with what my parents say. Um, I don't know, it also depends on what the issue is, I guess. Like, my mom has experience with a lot of people. So, it's hard to talk with her sometimes about, like, some of the things that people do, because she knows a lot of people that do some of the things that people do, and, you know, it, it gets into kind of like a, like, oh jeez, I'm about to get into, like, step into the worst pile of crap. I, I was talking about my girlfriend, man, or my ex-girlfriend. Anyways, yeah, I love this girl. Doesn't that suck? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I don't I don't that's what it was. I don't I don't expect to The kind of woman I think I want probably would not see the value in going to college. That or they're such a, an omega level genius that they have no time for me. Um I'm not sure which one's better, honestly. It, it isn't as if I can't be around people that are um, of mildly lower intelligence than me, perhaps. That's a big perhaps, alright. And because, you know, I just live like that, basically. Uh, <laughs> I live life at the top. It's lonely up here. Um, at the top of the bell curve, maybe. Anybody who understands the bell curve would find that somewhat funny, but the rest of you are actually at the top of the bell curve. Or maybe the, the lower end. I don't know. That's another thing that I think is funny. The bell curve means... Um, that's completely irrelevant to what I was talking about, and I feel like if I went on to what I find funny about them, I would step into more garbage, maybe. That's a new one. Sheesh. I'm also starting to hyper-focus a little bit. And I need to step back. Because just the, all of the motion there, that's, that's an example. I'm doing predictive motions instead of present motion. This is one of the things that I said in one of those recordings I deleted is that I go back and forth between reaction and prediction when the game demands action in the present. And I'm either trying to react to something that I don't know, or doing a predictive motion of something that I do know, and it just ends up going poorly. I do something too quick, or I do something too late. Um, or I'm just not stalling for enough time, you know. But, yeah. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. I don't know if I really have a good explanation of what I'm looking for. I don't know if I really need to give a good explanation of what I'm looking for in a gaming YouTube video. Um, here's hoping that nobody I ever meet 
in terms of romantic interest later in life has seen any of these. Dear God, if if never if you don't know me at my worst, good. <laughs> All the better. <laughs> but uh god. That's that's kinda what it comes down to. I I I guess I still have some explaining to do about the things I was talking about, about like my mom. Um, she deals with people. She's a people person a lot more than I am. Um, I sometimes fixate on actions more so than the people that take them. And this is kind of where there's a disconnect sometimes, even just general ideologies, between like banning a thing and banning a people that do a thing. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of a difficult disconnect to bridge because when you know when you know a lot of people and you like a lot of people it's harder to grapple with that I guess um, and it's honestly less that I know a lot of people and more that I don't like all that many people so it's easier for me to say well some things should not be done um, but you know, or it m would be better if they weren't, maybe, or if it weren't as incentivized, perhaps. Because there, are, there are a lot of facets to things in terms of policy, and I'm not going to be a freaking public servant. Far from it. I'm going to have servants myself. Um, you people will be my servants. Do my bidding, anyways. But, yeah, that is not at all an attractive calling to me. Because I would be doing this for a living. Talking. Dear God, I hate people so much. Why would I do that? God. Ah. <laughs> I really need to focus up a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, I would give examples, but I'm not going to start any fires. You know, actually, I guess there are examples that are cult uh, culturally irrelevant enough that I could give them. Like, um, I'd say that I'm relatively li uh, libertarian, but in terms of, like, smoking in closed spaces, you maybe shouldn't, especially when they're, like, shared spaces. Um, I'd say that that does fall to, like, if you say you're at a restaurant and the restaurant says, oh, you can't smoke here, uh, that's fine, you know, that could fall to restaurants, but at the same time, that is, I guess that gets into market where the ambiance of the restaurant can be taken into account. People maybe don't like the smell of smoke. If you work at a smokehouse, maybe it's fine, but if I'm eating uh, Belgian waffles, they shouldn't take light. They shouldn't taste like smoke, all right? I'm not going to say the name of the place that gave me smoke taste and waffles, but you know who you are, um, unless you don't, in which case, well, that's kind of awkward, huh? Um, but, yeah, general, like, that's a, a factor in an individual decision, maybe. Like, the ambiance of other customers in... And a restaurant where someone is allowed to smoke in the restaurant, you know. And then there's also, like, you could make an argument that maybe for the sake of just general public benefit, smoking within confined spaces, confined public spaces, or I guess just closed public spaces, or not well ventilated public spaces, but then that gets into how do you define that, um, may need be, like, banned. For the sake of well, um, the effects of secondhand smoke on other people. You know, you might give children lung cancer or whatever. Haha, <laughs> children with lung cancer, hilarious. But um, just that kind of thing. I don't see. I don't. Again, that that falls into a decision. But it's a decision on two different levels. You could just be looking out for the the market value of the restaurant to. A general population that doesn't smoke um, overwhelmingly or 
it could be something more like a, a legal decision where smoking in certain areas is flat out prohibited. Um, but I guess the the down the long and short of that is that I think that either one of those is appropriate. I guess just because you can make an argument of like, well, we have X research that says this causes cancer or whatever. But at the same time, then you would have to disallow everything in California because everything causes cancer in California, apparently. Um, so I don't know. That's a difficult decision. I guess, yeah, you could have the restaurants do that, like in the first example. Uh, but you still end up with the same kind of thing where you, we have a general population now that doesn't smoke as overwhelmingly as maybe it did in like the 40s. Um, at least not like cigarettes, you know. Please don't vape anywhere. I would rather you just smoke cigarettes because then you'll be dead sooner. No. <laughs> Well, I don't actually know about that. I, uh, well, hell, I guess like vapes are less carcinogenic, but they're still... Are they? Are they even less carcinogenic? I wouldn't know. I've never done it, because I've never had any uh, will or reason to. The times in which I was ex anxious and depressed and couldn't deal with it myself was like fourth grade. I didn't know any of that stuff existed at that point. <sighs> this is so fun. God. Um, yeah, I needed that. Um, So, you end up with uh, just a general free market solution to something that could be a federal problem if they really wanted to make it a federal problem. Uh, I don't know if that even is actually a legal thing though. I don't see why it would be. I mean, it doesn't really need to be because that would apply to more than restaurants anyways. Um, in terms of just closed spaces, there are definitely places you don't need to be sparking up a freaking sig. But, uh, at the same time, maybe you know someone that smokes and they're like, yeah, they get real, they get the shakes, you know, or something like that. God, I really gotta... I'm, I'm getting worse and worse at getting diagonal dashes out, which is wacky because that's all I do. Diagonal dashes are my bread and butter. But I've been doing more horizontal and verticals in this level. So maybe that's it. Like right here. Okay. So fun. I just love this game so much. I, I honestly wish I could just go over at this point, but I actually don't think I can. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised I made it through there. Just a little bit, of course. I dashed a bit late. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Yeah, I guess for me, it's it's um, the long and short is that I would rather people not like smoke, you know, in general. But I can understand if there are people that it's better if they do. Maybe I don't know, um, or just generally people. Like, um, god, wasn't there a guy one time that his body just produced alcohol at a level that made him fail breathalyzer tests? I want to say I heard a story about that one time. It was just a completely natural happenstance. Or, there might have been something going on there, but his body, like, produced, um, I want to say it's like alcohol fermentation, but that's anaerobic. It's not like this man lives by not breathing, so... Um, and doesn't that burn alcohol for energy? The burning of alcohol for energy, I want to say, some kind of... I'm thinking of lactic acid fermentation. Um, this, this goes back into biology. I haven't been in biology in a little while. Just a little while. A while. But... Yeah, it's the kind of thing like if you banned being drunk, you would end up with cases where, oh, this guy's body produces alcohol and he failed a breathalyzer and now we have to set him up against the wall. <laughs> Something like that. Um, which is why we shouldn't ban being drunk. In fact, everybody should be drunk. Come on. 
be more fun that way. Um, every, half the country would be better drivers. Let's be honest here. I live in Texas. I can make that joke. People suck at driving so much. We have a whole highway system. The Department of Transportation is massive. But nobody knows how to drive. Why did I come here? I was born here, actually. Why did my parents come here? They lived in other places. It's nice being able to drive. Well, I can't drive right now because I don't have a car. Thank God, because I'd probably get hit. I live on a college campus. These people can't drive. They're like the worst of the worst. I know a person, actually, that's so unconfident in their driving abilities, and it's warranted how unconfident in their driving abilities it is, they are. I haven't been in the car when they, like, hit something, but I've definitely been in the car when they, like, run stop signs, and apparently they hit a median one of the times that I wasn't in the car, which is nice, because I would rather not be in the car when someone hits a median. I've only uh, uh, hit a curb like once or twice. At least one of those times was a real dang big car that could make curbs like um, the school bully takes lunch money. School bullies don't exist anymore. Thanks, anti-bullying campaigns. You replaced school bullies with cool kids. Yeah. Anyways. This is what happens when I have nothing to say anymore. This this is really dragging out a lot longer than I hoped. I'm still not entirely sure about that the middle through here. I'm still not entirely sure about the middle part over here. Um because going just doing a a sideways dash takes me too far. I might be able to survive if I'm close enough to the wall, but that's not going to be reliable. Um, and then everything else honestly doesn't seem that bad. Once you get to like the third one from the left right now, it's just a sideways and a diagonal again. And then do that over and over again, two diagonals up, and that's it. But that second, that second crystal is going to give me enough trouble that we're going to be here a little while. I have to think of more interesting things to talk about. I really do like that I get so bored in Celeste I have to spill the guts about my life instead of having real commentary. Why do I even have an accent? I don't. I don't have an accent. Fun fact, apparently the Texas is the world's sexiest. So, any women around the world that want a Texan boy, howdy y'all, I am Texas. And I am also excessively attractive. All that jazz. And I will eventually have a lot of money. Not that you should, like, be into me for that, that's kind of pathetic. Now, I was not expecting that one to happen the way that it did. <laughs> that's... That's an interesting interaction. That's gonna be... I'm gonna be thinking about that for a little while. Okay. Okay. I combined the two dashes I wanted to do in my head. I really liked the, 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 the split frame there for a second where I was um, wall climbing on the springboard. I could see it. I don't know if anybody else could. But, I mean, my mind's going at like 20 frames per second right now. I can only see every couple frames. I love when that happens so much. They really needed to have those spikes there. I'm so glad they're there. Holy... Anyways. They probably did. It's probably like, you can't actually get far enough unless you're at the very edge. That might be the case. That would suck if that were the case, but you know, who's gonna... Who's gonna stop them, you know? Who's gonna stop these madmen? Oh, oh, baby! Yeah! Look at that tree. And Granny! Granny, you're here! Wow! It's hard to believe that it's over, isn't it? Funny how I get attached to the struggle. Promise me that you'll take care of yourself, okay? God, thanks, Granny. I hope I don't... Oh, okay, thank God. 
I almost get the feeling that they would have. They wouldn't make me redo that entire thing if I failed at the end. But I also somehow know in my heart that they would have. Oh boy. And another game crash! I love this game! 35 minute recording. I don't know if I can even cut any of that out. I don't know how I'm supposed to cut this down. I didn't shut up. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> it's a half hour special, man. And it really sucks because this isn't even a finale. Apparently there's a core seaside. I'm gonna... There's gonna be like an hour long special. Wow. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, you're insane. Seek mental help. Dear God. If you're still watching, you're insane. Seek mental help. Dear God. <laughs> I gotta like scream more or something, you know? Or like, ah! You know, I gotta do that or something. It'll be more interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was, this was therapeutic for me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad I was able to do that last part exactly the, well, maybe not exactly, but basically the way that I figured I would. And then I didn't have to do that more than once. Isn't that nice? Anyways, I'm going to be... Stop wasting y'all's time. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, would ya? Or I'll, um, I'll throw you from the summit of a mountain down to the bottom. Um, let's see, how many times did I die? I'll, I'll, I'll say it was around, like, 375. We'll check next episode. 375 times. It'd be like Sisyphus, but instead of an infinite number of times, it'd be 375, and instead of having to pour, uh, push a boulder up a mountain, it's me throwing you down one. Doesn't that suck? Well, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.